السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا بكم مرحبا أهلا Welcome to Land of Numbers Number 0 to Number 10 But you can see I divided it into two columns because that's why because uh, in Arabic most things is gender based you have masculine version and feminine version even numbers as well so this column is masculine section and this column is feminine version the bracket you have here with the green uh, ink is to say you may pronounce the ending that way or you can just say wahid for instance or wahidun so let's go through it first um, both ways wahid wahidun if you like wahida wahidatun so the masculine version wahid wahida ithnan or ithnani ithnatan or ithnatani thalath or thalath thalathun thalath ثلاثة أربع أو أربع أربعة أو أربعة خمس أو خمس خمسة خمسة ست ست ستة ستة سبع سبع سبعة سبعة ثمان ثمانية ثمانية تسع تسع تسعة تسعة عشر وعشر عشرة عشرة then we have صفر or Sifrun. Now, you may say, all I want to know is to count. I just want to count one to ten in Arabic. You don't, you don't have to get involved in these the details, the grammar details. To count straightforward ways would be this. We're going to take two here and then the eight here. It becomes easier. So we say, wahid ifnan. You go that way, just simple counting, which is your uh, cardinal numbers. So, wahid, ifnan, that's one and two. So, wahid, ifnan. Together, wahid, ifnan, wahid, ifnan, wahid, ifnan. Then, let's do the rest from here. It's easier. Thalatha, arba, khamsa. Thalatha, أربع خمسة ثلاثة أربع خمسة ثلاثة أربع خمسة واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربع خمسة together واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربع خمسة together واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربع خمسة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة كمان هافي كو واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة واحد اثنان ثلاثة Right, now let's do the, the rest, which is 6 to 10. Sitta sabaa, sitta sabaa, sitta sabaa, sitta sabaa, thamaniya, 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 sitta sabaa, thamaniya, sitta sabaa, thamaniya, tisha, عشرة تسعة عشرة ستة سبعة ثمانية 
تسعة عشرة تسعة ستة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة three three more times three more times right together واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة two more واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة last time come on واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة that's your number and صفر صفر is zero صفر that's mean zero so صفر واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة Now let's put that in a little bit into a little bit of uh, sentences. I think let me just put another uh, um, the chart in front of you to illustrate this number. Right, I have one here. I'll just give you the um, this one. Let's put this one on, and we have a little bit of. Sentences here which might illustrate the number for us. So we learned before how to say I have. So Lee, I have. Lee, Hamza, or Hamza to Atfal. Can you remember the meaning of Atfal? Atfal, previous lesson, Atfal, that's children. Children. So Lee, I have. خمسة أطفال. I have five children. لي ابن واحد. I have one son. واحد. Look here. واحد. لي I have ابن واحد. I have one son. و and أربع أربع like this one أربع بنات and I have four girls لي ابن واحد I have one son و and أربع بنات and four girls لي ابنان that's duo I have two sons. Wa thalathatu. Wa thalathu banat. And three girls. Li thalathatu abna. I have three sons. Wa and bintan. And two daughters. Li Arba'atu abna wa bintun wahidatun. I have arba'atu abna. I have four sons and bintun wahidatun and one daughter. Li khamsatu abna. I have five sons. Li khamsatu banat. I have five daughters. Now, cultural norm, for instance, somebody, somebody tell you any of these, that I have how many children, you can say, Allahu yahfazuhun. May God protect them. So it's a cultural input there. May God protect them, look after them. Allahu yahfazuhun. May God protect them. So, apart from some embedded grammar here, which you don't need to concern yourself with at the moment. Time will come when I go down to actually go serious on uh, grammar. 
that may be done when I start doing the uh, other series, like a gateway to Arabic book three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. We're going to be indulging in grammar there. But here, I just want you to learn things in a very easy way. So just know your number from zero to number 10 for now. Wahid, ifnan, thalatha, arba, khamsa, sitta, sabaa, thamaniya, tisaa, ashara. That's what I want you to, get, to take from this lesson is to be able to count in Arabic uh, from zero, sifr, all the way to ashara, which is your number 10. So if you can put them into use, such as this example, that will be great. We are putting all this together so that we can be fluent in talking about ourselves and asking for information from other people as well, using the simple, understood Arabic across the Arab world in a very easy way. That's what we endeavor to do, and I believe, God willing, we can achieve that. Well done, and good luck. Ma'assalama. Ila liqa.